there to be blessed. Number one, do you desire to be blessed? Some of you will say, Pastor, why are you asking that question? Everybody wants to be blessed. No, you are wrong. Not everybody wants to be blessed. Everybody pretends that he wants to be blessed. So hear me very well. Because the evidence of your desire is not in what you say, but what you do. Hello. Imagine somebody says, Pastor, I'm believing God that one day I will become a chief executive of a big company. And you say, that's very good ambition. May God allow that to come to pass. And he says, amen. I say to him, what education do you have? He said, no, I don't have any education, but I'm believing God I'll soon become a CEO of a multinational company. He desires it, but is he likely to have it? Because the evidence of your desire is not what you say. It's what you do. It's what you do. That's why the elders tell us that action speaks louder than voice. You say you want to be blessed, you want to be successful in life. And you wake up every day around 11 a.m. And as soon as you wake up, you carry your phone and you're on the internet. Till maybe another 1 p.m. And you say you want to be great. And you say, I am the seed of Abraham. Abraham blessings am I. You know you are saying it. But you really don't mean it. A man called Ralph Emerson says, your actions speak so loud that I can't hear what you are saying. Let me repeat that. Your actions speak so loud that I can't hear what you are saying. So when God asks in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19, if you are willing and you are obedient, he's asking you, do you really desire to be blessed? Please write this one down. God is not impressed by my drama. Please write it down. God is what? God is not impressed by your drama. 